The second stitch pattern pack is to practice reverse. So when you see these dotted lines, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew forward, and then you're gonna go reverse, then you're gonna sew all the way to the end of the line, you're gonna go reverse, and then you're gonna finish at the end of the line. That's what you're going to do. Okay, so there are a couple things. The thing, the sign for reverse is right here. This little button is for reverse, which will make the needle go backwards, exactly backwards in a straight line, or however you have your material set up. So just like you did in the first one, you're gonna put your fabric underneath. You're going to use the hand wheel to put your needle in the, at the beginning of the line place your presser foot down without making noise and then you're going to move forward so you're going to press the foot pedal it's going to advance forward when you get to the end of the dotted lines you're going to press the reverse and see it goes directly back and then you release it and then it's going to come forward and what you have to do you have to remember that when you're pushing back when you hit when you hit the release, that the machine is actually gonna go backwards another stitch or two, and you have to keep that in mind so you can be nice and neat. Then you're gonna sew all the way to the end of the line. Okay, when you get to the end of the line, you're gonna hit reverse again, and it's gonna go backwards. And then you're gonna release, and it's going to go forwards. Again, go back to manual so that you can be accurate. Lift the presser foot up, and then you should be good to go. This is what it should look like, a nice straight line.